Hello there, I'm Subhan Mansoor, Client Success Manager here at Entertive, and today I'm going, to walk, I'm going to talk about something that everyone who owns or operates commercial real estate can relate to. The difficulty of managing the litany of third-party vendors necessary to keep operations humming. Now this topic is important on its own, but it's also a perfect microcosm of the digital transformation that's occurring across building operations. So let's start with the status quo. In terms of operating a building, there may be no bigger blind spot than the ongoing work performed by maintenance vendors. Even in the largest and most sophisticated portfolios, operators simply have no way of monitoring the work done or not done by third parties. Vendors come and go as they please. Even on-site staff largely have no idea when vendors will arrive, what they will do while they're on-site, and when they leave. At the end of the day, all that is provided is the list of tickets to specify hours work and a short description of activities. There is no real way to verify whether any of it was completed or if the hours billed are accurate. Uh, this is especially common with routine preventative maintenance because unlike emergency repairs when vendors are finished, it's not obvious that anything has been done. Unfortunately, some vendors have been found inflating the hours they work or skipping preventative maintenance and billing you guys for it anyway. So let's take a look at an example. So what we see here is that a vendor says that they came in at 10 a.m. to fix an elevator or work on preventative maintenance for this elevator. So that's the red line that we see here. And according to the reported work hours on the ticket, they say that they came at 10 a.m. and they left the site at 4 p.m. So that's like a full eight hour worth of reported work time by the vendor. Now, what is the data telling us? That's the purple line follow. We see that the elevator was actually brought offline when it actually was not being used at around 12 p.m. And the actual work time was not for eight hours, but it was actually for four hours because we can see that it was back online at 2 p.m. So that's 50% of the entire time that's unaccounted for. And as that's powerful information that comes directly off of the data and it compares what your reported work time is, what you're being billed for, to what is exactly happening on site. But we're not here to put anyone down. We're here to explore how technology can benefit everyone involved from owners to on-site operators to maintenance vendors themselves. Ultimately, everyone wants to do a good job and see the returns for their effort. So the best way to think about this is similar to building blocks, each unlocking a higher order process and more value. So what's really happening is that you essentially digitize the process, then you collect the real-time data, and based off of that, you run sophisticated AI algorithms, and in this case, it's pattern recognition to really identify what constitutes an elevator off time and what constitutes an actual activity that gets overlaid with what you're seeing with what the vendor is reporting the work time as. Now at the foundation, the goal is to use technology to independently track when vendors arrive on site and when they begin working on a specific piece of equipment. This solves the transparency problem for owners and operators and can be implemented almost immediately. In fact, there's a concept in psychology called the observer's effect where performance increases in response to awareness that you're being observed. This is pretty intuitive, right? So this solution could significantly improve results and equipment uptime with very little upfront effort. Um, building on that, we can deploy IoT sensors to leverage real-time equipment performance data. There are two key benefits here. First, vendors can be notified the moment that the equipment breaks down so they can mobilize resources effect effectively. Second, this data can be used to independently verify that maintenance is actually being performed and that it actually took the time stated in the vendor's ticket. Finally, we get to the top layer, the sophisticated analysis unlocked by artificial intelligence. Now, one important thing to remember here is that you couldn't just jump straight here because AI needs a massive amount of data work, data collected from certain human inputs, IoT sensors, and the first two steps across hundreds of, of, of buildings. But with this massive data set, AI can identify patterns and create maintenance schedules that require fewest amounts of trips for vendors. And in summary, a lot can be done today to digitize your building operation. In doing so, you're setting yourself up for tremendous value. Again, I'm Subhan Mansoor with Enertiv. I hope this was informative, and I'll see you next time.